Hi everyone, I'm Rosemarie Miller here with Nina Bambashiva, a senior reporter here at Forbes, here to tell us the latest updates on the Sam Bankman free trial. Thank you so much for joining me today, Nina. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Nina, could you just start off by giving us an overview of the Sam Bankman free trial and what the charges are? Yes, so Sam Bankman fried the former CEO and founder of FTX, what was once one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges is currently testifying in his own criminal trial. He's accused of orchestrating a massive fraud involving FTX and the affiliate hedge fund Alameda Research, specifically of funneling uh, FTX's customers money into Alameda and spending um, those funds on lavish uh, real estate purchases, investments, political donations, uh, some of the charges include wire fraud, conspiracy to commit commodities fraud, securities fraud, uh, money laundering, so a whole lot. Oh yeah, that is a lot. That's a long list. Well, Nina, could you tell us some of the latest updates? He's still testifying today, but, but fill us in. Yes, yeah, so we're into the third day of him testifying. Uh, today, federal prosecutors started cross-examining him, and that is, of course, the riskiest part of a defendant uh, stay, taking a stand in his own trial. Uh, already, we heard the prosecutors confronting Bankman Freed uh, with instances in which he promised customers that their assets on the platform would be safe while he looted them. Um, earlier in the testimony, he sought to pin blame on others, maintaining that he had made some management mistakes, but he didn't intend to defraud anyone or commit any crimes. Mm -hmm. And did he say anything about his earlier tweets from uh, the day, what was it, the day CZ put out his notice, what, Sam McMahon fried made a series of tweets basically saying things were fine, right? Right. So a lot of those statements came up and basically his line of defense is that he wasn't always in the know, that he was involved in some things with Alameda, the hedge fund um, that was responsible for, for the whole largely. and. Um, he's saying that um, he was familiar with some of the decisions, but he didn't manage it day to day. And that Caroline Ellison, um, one of the CEOs who ran Alameda and was his on and off girlfriend, uh, didn't properly hedge um, the bets uh, that Alameda was making, um, even though he told her. And um, basically that, you know, he's just saying that he didn't know many of the things um, and that to his knowledge, everything was fine at the exchange, which mm -hmm. we of course know it wasn't. Right, and could you just fill us in, uh, give us a little bit more backstory on Caroline Ellison, who she is, why she's relevant? Yeah, so she was one of um, the earliest employees at Alameda Research, the affiliate hedge fund. And um, she, in the last months of um, FTX and Alameda was essentially uh, running that company. And um, as we know, that company uh, was the one where customers' money, uh, FTX customers' money ended up. Um, and Alameda was using the money to uh, make billions in you know, venture investments. Um, they were lending some of those funds. And um, Alameda was also a market maker in FTX and was allowed to uh, have negative balances um, on the exchange. So that's how you know they lost a lot, a lot of those funds. And um, she was also Sam's on and off girlfriend um, and they lived together even. So uh, when Sam is saying that he didn't know uh, a lot of the things that Alameda was doing, um, that looks at least at the very least weird, given what we know. Um, and he essentially in his testimony blamed her for just, you know, being a poor manager and um, that the implosion was essentially uh, largely her fault. Mm -hmm. So it seems like a lot of blame game is going on here. Who is in Sam Bankman Reed's corner right now? Well, not many people. Um, the defense has produced um, only two witnesses that testified last week. Um, a financial services consultant um, who um, said some things about, you know, FTX's and Alameda finances and a Bahamian lawyer who was involved in his case. But 
they didn't really say anything that uh, substantially changed the course of the trial. Mm -hmm. And what about his parents? They're still standing by him in all of this, right? They are, yes. Um, they, are. they have been in the courtroom uh, pretty much um, every day, um, but um, they they haven't testified. Okay. And Nina, is Sam Bankman Free likely to go down for all of these charges, do you think, or will some be dismissed? Well, we still don't know. The testimony is still going on, uh, although the trial is expected to um, finish this week. Um, and the judge said that closing statements will likely come on Thursday. Um, I mean, so far, everyone, all of his former colleagues and lieutenants essentially turned um, against him. And what he has said in the trial um, doesn't seem to have changed um, the course substantially. Uh, we have yet to see what he may say, but um, the judge dismissed um, the case that his defense tried to build up that um, some Sam Bigman Fried's lawyers were in the know on many of those decisions uh, that contributed to the collapse of the of the exchange, and um, he tried to say that uh, because the lawyers knew, he thought he was acting in good faith. Well, a lot of that. Um, testimony um, is not going to be heard by the jury. So um, he's just on, on his own now. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Nina. Thank you. Absolutely.